welcome back to my channel today it will be a chatty video I'm gonna talk about my wish list my handbags wish list we're gonna focus just on the handbags and I just want to do you know just share with you my thoughts and um, maybe you can give me some advice at the same time yeah let's just start it okay so let's start with Chanel we all know how expensive is Chanel. I pretty much have what I want, um, you know, as far as the Chanel bags goes. I got my uh, classic double flap jumbo. This was on top of my wish list. And if you remember my wish list list from last year, I had a boy bag on my wish list and it was in this beautiful gray color with the silver hardware. And ideally I want it in the new medium style which i think they call it large these days um well i never bought this bag <laughs> i don't think this particular one is available you know chanel always change the colors and patterns and everything so anyway um i never got the boy bag uh even though i did try it on at the boutique and to be honest with you i was kind of on the, on the fence because reissue was suddenly just kind of popped in and i was just just on the hunt for the reissue so instead of getting a boy back last year i've got the reissue and i'm very happy that i did because i feel like it's like a little bit more everyday kind of a low-key handbag because not everybody you know obviously recognize the 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 turn lock you know it's not like in your face but um the boy bag still kind of stays on my wish list but ideally i would not want to get it in the black i was looking at some patent leather and the gray would be amazing but no gold hardware it will have to be silver um and obviously in the larger size and uh, <clears throat> most likely i wouldn't buy it brand new because i don't really think that particular bag hold its value so i am more looking on the pre-owned you know websites like fashion file for example which you know i love because i bought so many things also boutique patina carry um carry boy bag so yeah i'm kind of you know i'm kind of searching and looking and who knows maybe it will happen this year okay the next i want to do is the dior so as you know Dior recently launched their um website where you can pretty much order handbags straight from the website which is amazing they don't have a you know like a large variety obviously they are still kind of limited but just the fact that you can go and order lady dior is amazing so lady dior is kind of the i think it's called the medium size yeah the medium size it's kind of on my radar for i'm gonna say a past couple of years but again my heart is not like a hundred percent sold on that bag because i'm trying to think about it how am i gonna wear it? where am i gonna wear it you know is my lifestyle working for this particular bag i love the look of this bag i just don't know if i can wear it casually you know because most of the time even you know to work i go wearing jeans so i don't know tell me guys <laughs> would that be appropriate to carry a lady lady dear in in you, you know with jeans and just you know being kind of casual uh like a I, I call my style professional and casual let's put it this way because you know I still like you know like what do you see today I still like a nice scarf I have nice cardigan blouse and I have a jeans on the bottom so um you know I kind of mix and match but at the same time I feel like maybe Lady Dior is a little bit too much I don't know please tell me but um again Lady Dior doesn't hold its value as much as um classics Chanel bags so i think i would rather go again pre-own <laughs> road um so i was actually i i'm looking at one on fashion file and i actually like patent leather i don't know what do you guys think um i don't know it's just the look of patent leather on lady dior works for me so i don't know we'll see but um, they're still expensive, even though on the pre-owned markets, they're still expensive. And I just don't know if it's going to work for me, but we'll see. If you guys remember 
months or years ago i always talk about the getting a diorama diorama bag i love diorama bag again this is similar to the boy bag so i don't know which one should i go for but the problem is diorama bag comes only in this kind of a small medium size these days they don't make the right large size anymore so diorama was kind of getting a little bit out of my you know um comfort because i really like a little bit larger size for this bag so unfortunately i think the large is discontinued but they do have this really cute i, I look at the website um like a smaller bag diorama bags which i think are very very nice but they are quite similar to my promenade clutch from dior so i'm not sure if i should go for it or not but at least i'll have this kind of you know um i feel like a fresh modern look of the diorama bag so i don't know that's something to consider it comes in many different colors even like a matte 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 black um and also dior came up recently with a very cute clutch it's called the lady dior clutch and i was looking at the one again in a patent leather very light pink it's beautiful with the um silver chain and you can wear it cross body is slightly longer than my permanent clutch and it comes with the two inserts so uh, you can take them out and have a little bit more room or just use it you know as a credit card in a uh, little insert or there's like a little pouch insert i believe i know it looks so cute so this is something that i'm um, you know i wouldn't buy it in black that pink color actually it's really cute so i'm i'm kind of considering <laughs> to go for that one okay gucci i've been looking at the gucci and contemplating and <sighs> trying some bags you know at the store whatever i get a chance and i think honestly guys that just gucci went weird it's just so i don't know it's even worse than my grandma closet used to be I, I don't know what is happening i thought that gucci had it they had it for a moment and now it seems like they are just straight weird you might not agree with me but they even came up with a mickey mouse handbag for nearly five thousand dollars like are you serious are you even serious so i don't know just gucci is completely out of my comfort zone out of my sight for now there's just nothing that i would buy from gucci at all okay let's talk about the louis vuitton louis vuitton is my most favorite hands down handbag you know designer maker uh, designer house it's just some some i don't know it, I can trust them I can there's so many variety to choose from and um, you know the prices will be different you, you get from very expensive ones to um, less expensive ones and I think everybody can find something for themselves from Louis Vuitton uh, because they have it, it seems like they have so many different branches and ideas and handbags line and I love this about the Louis Vuitton so for example let's talk about the classics um, you guys know I have um, never full mm in the regular monogram which I love and I have it for what six seven years now beautiful bag I just recently did a review of this bag um, so I'm thinking to get the one in Demi Azure. I don't have anything in Demi Azure, so I'm thinking to myself, this would be such a fresh bag for spring, summer. So I'm seriously thinking to get this one soon. So this would be like, you know, probably on the top and more uh, realistic bag to to, buy, to get. Um, also, let's talk about the <laughs> Pochette Matisse if i return mine if i'm able to exchange it um because of the glazing issues i would like to get it back or you know just get a new one but at the same time i'm kind of doubting if i do i really want it like um maybe i should just take that money and invest towards something else i use that you know back for quite a few years four years three years whatever i have and um maybe i should just move on because if i get the new one maybe i'm just not gonna love it anymore you know what i mean so um i don't know i'm still kind of thinking but you know at the same time i think like pochette matisse is just 
it's just perfect all right from the most probably the most expensive louis vuitton bag that i would like to get at some point is the uh, capucines and the one that i particularly love is in a galette color it's such a beautiful bag i did try it in the store it's in a size pm i believe so it comes with the strap and it's just so classy i feel like it's just so classy but at the same time it's it's not over the top it's kind of like i can pull that look you know what i mean like i can still wear it and don't feel like i'm too much if that makes any sense i feel like it will just work with my style the only problem with this bag is the price um and the fact that this bag does not hold the value um so if possible i probably would like to find it on the pre-owned market unless i use the money let's say if i get a refund for prochette matisse um unless I just use that money and you know um, add some more and then eventually get the um, the capucine so I don't know <laughs> it's just because it's it's truly does not hold its value so unless I decide to keep it you know for a very very long time and take care of it and just enjoy it and just forget about the value um, then I just you know might go for it I don't know we'll see but I love this bag and this is something that I would love to have it at some point. Okay, from the newest bags, and I think more kind of like a funky uh, bags, and at the same time, uh, bringing the vibe of the old days is the bag called, I might butcher this name, Boti, Boti Chapeau. I have no idea. I'm just gonna insert. Um, this is i just think it's different you know what i mean and it comes with this pre-treated leather so um it's not as it's not going to be to be as wide as you know the brand new vachetta i don't know there's just something about this bag that i feel like it's it's just cute <laughs> it's just different so i have not seen this bag in person so I would like to uh, take a look at this, you know, if because I, I completely might change my mind if I see it, obviously. Um, but this is something that I could possibly consider and just put on my wish list. And then, I don't know if you guys know, uh, Louis Vuitton just recently came up with this entire kind of line of those lock me. They kind of expanded this line of the handbags. So for example, they have Lock Me Ever, which is like the biggest one, and they come with uh, um, different, different colors and color combination. Yes, there's $3,200. Um, I'm looking at my iPad, iPad by the way. Um, but you know, that's a pretty big bag, and I like that style with the one handle, and uh, you have an option of the strap as well. I don't know, I just kind of like the the style of the handbag or they have my lock me which is i believe a, sa a size down which is a little bit smaller um this might be a cute <laughs> options as well again it comes with different 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 colors and then they have a my lock me bb something that i would love to try so the next time i'm um, around the louis vuitton store i'll definitely want to try the bb because i feel like the bb will be like a little bit bigger wallet on the chain um i might be wrong again i i didn't see it in person but i think if i like this bag it might work for my lifestyle so um it's two thousand three hundred and seventy dollars you know obviously it's expensive because it's it's a leather bag but um yeah it comes with many many different colors i really like it looks like it's long crossbody chain so i would really really love to try it so this is pretty much it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any of those bags uh please let me know if you like them and um if you think they are worth the money you know if this is something that you do use and enjoy like please let me know <laughs> i would like to you know look to hear your opinion and um yeah let me know what you think so thank you so much for watching uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video if you enjoyed this video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you soon bye